Hey there! Today I have a trivia challenge about the working titles of movies. Can you get them all? Let's get most smartest. Rory's first kiss was the working title of this movie. Signs, The Dark Knight, or Etruscan Smile. It was The Dark Knight. This was the first comic book movie to reach the $1 billion mark worldwide. Corporate Headquarters was the working title of this movie. Halloween, Office Space, or Star Trek. That was for Star Trek. The casting call asked for actors who had a Vulcan-type eyebrow shape. Cheese was the working title of this movie. Cloverfield, Ratatouille, or Chocolat. It was Cloverfield. The Dharma Initiative logo from the TV series Lost can be seen at the start of the film. Hunter was the working title of this movie. Lake Placid, Predator, or Hannibal. It is Predator. The title changed when the alien creature turned out so well. The Cut Whore Killings was the working title of this movie. Copycat, The Notebook, or Unforgiven. It was for Unforgiven. The main musical theme was written by Clint Eastwood. Route 66 was the working title of this movie. Cars, East of Eden, or Freeway. It was Cars. The title was changed because of the 1960s TV show called Route 66. Fear and Trembling was the working title of this movie. Hellraiser, Vertigo, or Excalibur. It was Vertigo. Vertigo was one of four titles Hitchcock was considering. Twins was the working title for this movie. The Uninvited, As Good As It Gets, or Dead Ringers. It was Dead Ringers. Robert De Niro turned down the role as he felt uncomfortable playing a gynecologist. Johnny Utah was the working title of this movie. Point Break, The Lego Movie, or Magic Mike. It was Point Break. Johnny Utah was the Keanu Reeves character. Move That Body was the working title of this movie. La La Land, Rough Night, or Black Swan. It was Rough Night. This raunchy female comedy stars Scarlett Johansson. Oh No She Didn't was the working title of this movie. Halloween, Pretty Woman, or Obsessed. It was Obsessed. LL Cool J was originally going to play Idris Elba's part. Can a Song Save Your Life was the working title for this movie. Begin Again, A Star Is Born, or The Muppets. It 
was begin again. Kira Knightley had to learn to play guitar for this role. All You Need Is Kill was the working title of this movie. War Dogs, Edge of Tomorrow, or Terminator. It is Edge of Tomorrow. It was filmed almost entirely at Leavesden Studios, where the Harry Potter films were made. The Ship of Dreams was the working title of this movie. Waterworld, Star Trek 1979, or Titanic. It was Titanic. The stuntmen in the engine room scenes were only five feet tall to make the engine room look bigger. When I Grow Up was the working title of this movie. Big, Incredible Hulk, or Stand By Me. It was Big. With Big, Penny Marshall became the first female to direct a movie that grossed $100 million. Scary Movie was the working title of this movie. The Mummy, Scream, or Frankenstein. It was Scream. There was already a movie called Scary Movie in 1991. Star Beast was the working title of this movie. Gravity, Never Ending Story, or Alien. It was Alien. Shredded condoms were used to create the tendons of the alien's jaws. Ashcliff was the working title of this movie. Shutter Island, Wine Country, or Hamlet. It was Shutter Island. Shutter Island's ending is one of the most debated movie endings ever. Flight 180 was the working title of this movie. Flight Plan, Final Destination, or Con Air. It was Final Destination. It actually started as an idea for an X-Files episode. The Last First Kiss was the working title of this movie. Dracula, Labyrinth, or Hitch. It was Hitch. Kevin Jones made up all of the dance moves for the scene where Albert is dancing in Hitch's apartment. The Babysitter Murders was the working title of this movie. Halloween, The Babysitter, or Mrs. Doubtfire. It was Halloween. John Carpenter saw hiring Jamie Lee Curtis as a tribute to Alfred Hitchcock. Do Androids Dream of Electric Sheep was the working title of this movie. Blade Runner, Australia, or Star Wars. It was Blade Runner. Director Sir Ridley Scott regards this movie as his most personal and favorite. Did you get them all? Let me know in the comments section below. And don't forget to subscribe. Talk to you later.